Hello guys, I hope you are all fine. Today we are here to discuss about 4 quadrant chopper fed DC motor. So let's get into our topic. This is the circuit diagram of 4 quadrant chopper fed DC motor. And here, if object here, this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, this is the fourth quadrant. Let's first discuss about the first quadrant. Here, first quadrant, in the first quadrant, CH1 is the operator, which means here is there now. CH1 is the operator. When CH1 and CH4 when CH1 and CH4 are on, then IS direction is like this. IS direction will be like this. Like positive, from positive terminal to, it will go to L. It will go to L. Then it will go to E. Then it will go to CH4. Then it will go to CH4. Then after this, it will go to, after going to CH4, it will go to negative supply. Whereas when CH1 is off, then the energy stored in the L, the energy stored in the L flows through the CH4 and D2 as current. Let's discuss about the second quadrant. Here in the second quadrant, CH2 is the operator. When CH2 is on, here E, e acts as a supply. When it is on, here E acts as a supply. And here the current direction will be like this. It will, it will flow from E to CH2 then d4 then e it is at first it is like a positive terminal then at last it will meet at the negative terminal when ch2 is off then the current direction will be like from d1 to positive terminal of supply then to the negative terminal of supply then to the d4 now let's discuss about the third quadrant when ch here ch3 is the operator here when ch3 and ch2 are on which means these two CH3 and CH2 are on. Then the current direction will be from the positive terminal of supply to the CH3, then to the E, then L, then to the CH2, then to the negative terminal of supply. When CH3 is off, then the energy in L will be will flow as current. Then the current direction will be like this. It will flow from L to the CH2 to the D4 to the E, then to the L again. Well, let's discuss about the fourth quadrant. Here, in the fourth quadrant, CH4 is the operator. Here, when CH4 is on, E acts as the supply. Then the current direction will be from E to the CH4, then to the D2, then to the L. If you observe here, E to the CH4, it will go like this. E to the CH4, sorry, yeah, it will go like this. It will go like this. E to the CH4, then to the D2 then to the L then the current direction will be like this as I told you if you observe here let me tell you clearly here in the first quadrant the current will flow from L to the E to the CH4 then to the negative terminal of the supply then if you observe in the second quadrant as I told you it will flow from D1 D1 to the positive terminal of supply. Sorry, guys. It flow from D1, D1 to the positive terminal of supply, then the negative terminal of supply, then it will flow to the D4, like this. It will again come to the like this to the E of the negative terminal. Whereas here, in this way the current direction will be like this you can check it you can take the screenshot and you can analyze it as i told you in the theory and let me discuss about the waveforms here the waveforms the current voltage waveforms in the first quadrant the current is positive and the voltage is negative if observe here the current is positive the current is positive which means it is above this line this line is there no it is above this line Whereas here the voltage, this is the voltage line. Here, for this line, it is above. This voltage line is above of this line. So here voltage is positive. This is quadrant one. Whereas if observe here, this is quadrant two. Here current is negative, which means here this is line now. For this line, the current waveform is below, below of this line. So it is negative. And here, for this line the voltage this is the voltage line guys see this is the voltage line so for this line 
it is above it is above of this line so it is uh, positive so let me discuss about the quadrant 3 here current is negative and the voltage is negative which means for this line the current waveform is below of this line so it is negative and also the this is the voltage line this is the below of this line so it is also negative let me tell you about the quadrant 4 if you observe here here the current is positive and the voltage is negative which means if you, if you observe here for this line the current waveform is above the current waveform is above of this line so it is positive and here the voltage line this is the voltage line this voltage line is below of this line this line is there now below of this line so it is negative this is all about the yeah this is all about the four quadrant chopper for dc motors i hope understand guys for this current direction you can analyze you can analyze by looking at this circuit diagram you analyze then you will understand it clearly i hope you understand guys thank you